Good afternoon, Poké Sports, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode, we really needed to get our <laughs> we really needed to get our level up because our level was so bad we couldn't progress through the next place. So we went ahead and did that. We're gonna go ahead and push our level to level four so that we could continue on with the actual story. <laughs> um, but yeah, since the last episode, before we go ahead and do that, since the last episode, I want to show you guys something. My party completely changed. Completely. It's all now all Hisuian. I got a Growlithe, the Basculin, the Teddy Ursa, the Gumi, the Quillfish, and the Decidueye. And as you can see, there's three Pokemon that are ready to evolve. I've been waiting to evolve them this episode. But there's also a fourth one ready to evolve because I do have a Firestone for Growlithe as well. So I want to go ahead and do that. Just so, just because this wasn't so obvious for everybody, and at least not for me. In order to evolve Quillfish, you have to use its signature move like... 20 times in uh, in a uh, strong style and to evolve Basculin you have to do the same thing unfortunately Basculin can't evolve yet because he was level 46 and it wasn't listening to me but yeah evolutions can we do it here I don't see why not all right let's get ready for it let's see <clears throat> I'm excited I hope this is actually gonna be good I have high hopes. Not the design, like the actual Pokemon doing damage is gonna be good. That is so dangerous. <laughs> Look at those spikes, man. It's no wonder you couldn't survive the harsh environment. Look at you. <laughs> Alright, Gumi's gonna see the evolution. Now, Sligu also does get the steel type, it seems, because they changed the Sligu design as well. The only design they didn't change was Gumi's. Look, they put it in a little shell thing. I guess Gumi is kind of like a snail or a slug. It's something gooey. I got a new idea for a new move. Oh, I got to check that out. The Teddy Ursa is what I still don't know to evolve. Well, I know what I have, what, I, what item I need. It starts with a P. Um, I don't know where to get it, though. I checked multiple places. But hey, we got an Ursa Ring. We're going to sit with the Ursa Ring until we can go ahead and get our Ursa Luna. Then last but not least, our good doggo. Growlithe is going to be the Arcanine. The Arcanine that gave me so much trouble. Not the same one, but just as equally annoying, I hope. I love it. Such a cool design. I'm not gonna lie though, I kinda did like it when it was frenzied and it was golden and red. That was that was really that was cool. But we take what we can get. Hold on, I gotta see all these guys outside with me. I gotta see them outside in all their glory. Let's see. Arcanine. Oh, it's not as big as I thought it was. Or maybe mine's just smaller. Oh, but it's nice. I was expecting it to be a little larger, but it's fine. Like, look, the situation is taller. Oh, cool. what is it? What, what's the actual name so I can call it? Overquill. You are definitely over something. Look at that. Sligu should be little, right? Yeah. Ursaring. A nice size, too. And then Basculin, super small. My white, uh, my white striped Basculin. So this is my party so far. Let's see if we can actually take on this new area. This new area, I'm assuming, is going to be... Mount Coronet, so it's probably gonna be very mountainous. So probably gonna see a lot of ice Pokemon if I had to guess. We'll see. Let's go ahead and see what our level's at right now. Yes, I've progressed. Let me in. Look, look at all those, you know, tasks with unreported datas. You have made a progress, Sims. You have earned yourself a star. Just one. Nice, but at least we can continue on to the next uh, the next area. I did do a little bit of level grinding. I got all of my Pokemon to around 40s. Leaden Balls. Pokemon up to level 50 will obey you reliably. The rewards you earn for your survey. Okay, cool. I don't know what Leaden Balls are. Apricorn, Blackstone, Iron Chunk. Oh, and Hyper Potion. That's really good. Okay, time to go to the Coronet Highlands, go to the training area, you'll find them there. Okay, but first I have to go to the training area. 
Scaling perilous heights. Head to Jubilee Village training area. Okay, so I gotta go talk to the pro clan first, it seems. Probably gonna have someone outside the door remind me. Okay, no. Um, there is a fast way there. I believe you can just fast travel. Yeah, right there. That's this, right? Practice fields. Oh, no, training area is up here. I mean, I could fast travel, but I'm kind of there already. <laughs> but hey, let's test out our fast travel feature. What's up, Pearl? Oh, we haven't met this other guy yet. They're probably the warden of whatever thing is frenzied. Hello, Pokesports. It's me. This gentleman is Warden Ingo, who serves Sneasler. So, Sneasel Evolution, Sneasler. Very creative with that one. Good job, Game Freak. <laughs> He'll guide you to your domain. Okie dokes. Pleased to properly meet you. I apologize for that abrupt how you do before. I am Warden Ingo. I understand you'll need a hand from Sneasler in order to meet Electrode. Oh, so Sneasler's gonna help me. Whether she'll see you. F oh, so I gotta go. I gotta go gain Sneasler's trust to then go fight Electrode. Got it. I forgot they told me that Electrode was the warden. Okay, now let's have a safe journey to Mount Coronet. All aboard. Is he a sailor? He's a bit like me. He appeared one day from who knows where. What's more, much of his memory seems to be missing. Maybe that's me from the future. Maybe traveling with you will help in fill in some gaps to his memory. Interesting. I wonder if they're going to give this guy any actual meaning. In any case, I'm glad to have your help to count on once again. Have your help to count on once again. Good luck up in the highlands. I got this. Uh, now where? What was the point of making me come here? Just go all the way back there. Game Freak! But anyway, if you guys are enjoying the series, you know I'm going to ask you to do. Hit the like button and subscribe to help support the channel. Help us grow. Help us be friends. Leave a comment if you have something to say. Leave a comment if you hate my team. Or if you like my team. Alright, time to go to the Highlands. I'm a little nervous. I don't know if maybe there's the Highlands and then there's the High Highlands, right? So maybe there's something above that is icy. Oh, because yeah, this does not look icy. It looks kind of just mountainous. Adoy, it's called the Highlands, but you know, you know what I mean. Like a tundra. How does this professor always get here so fast? He's always waiting for me. There you are, my boy. Welcome to the Coronet Highlands. I expect you'll find all sorts of rock and ground type Pokemon wandering about these craggy boulder strewn heights. That's what I figured. And up there, right beneath that great rift in the space time, is the peak of Mount Coronet itself. The magnetism from it may well exert some sort of influence on the Pokemon throughout. The area, fascinating stuff. Interesting. Okay. Scaling Paris Heights to make your way up the mountain with in I in Ingo. Um, 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 I should probably, if it's going to be rock types. I mean, no, I have to use a uh, bascul basculin so I can actually work on leveling it up. But this is, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of underwhelmed by the Pokemon so far. I've seen all these before. And I don't, th I don't know how many more rock and ground type Pokemon there's left to see in this game. I've seen Geodude, I've seen Graveler, I've seen... Golem, I've seen Rhyhorn. Rhydon. There's no more that exist, right? I mean, there's probably more, you know, once I actually start climbing the mountain. I'm still here in the base area complaining. Anyway, Mr. Ingo. How are you today, Mr. Ingo? The electrode known as the Lord of the Hollow is somewhat different from the electrode I recall. But its electrical discharges at least are familiar. One false step around and you could... Oh my god, this guy's totally from a different time, man. If you're going to face it, you might consider catching Pokemon that can actually withstand electricity. What are you trying to say? It must be difficult being a Pokemon you don't think. Especially as irritable as Electrode. Then becoming frenzied to boot. So true, it's tough old man for Pokemon and humans alike. Who's this? Oh, it's Melly. This, this, this thing. This guy, this individual. I... It's an annoying character. It's always, they're always complaining. You're punching well above your weight to seek out the great Electrode Lord of the Hollow. But by the sheer tenderness of my heart, I'll grant you a trial to see if you're worthy. The greatest obstacle you'll ever face awaits you right here. Battle me. If you dare. Maybe another time. 
No, I just said nah. Hmm. Well, then let me tell you the great Melly's take on this whole situation. The frenzy of our noble is nothing other than a mark of Almighty Sinnoh's favor and protection. Why? Because it makes them stronger. Do I really need to spell out that that's a good thing? Well, must we must let my lord frenzy as it may to demonstrate to the Almighty Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan lives as is right and good. This may even be, dare I say it, the very reason I am here on Earth. So dramatic. What business is it of the galactic team, the galaxy team, anyway? If Electrode lets loose a few sparks out here in the mountains. Really, you should do us all a favor and slink back home to that village of yours. Rather, persist in this folly. Dude, this... Ah! He's so aggressive. Bon voyage. Snaps fingers, man. What a selfish outlook. You don't gotta tell me. I was literally told to go back to the hole I crawled out of. What does I wanna do? I'm gonna keep going. What the heck? I don't care about that guy. Very well. The tracks ahead will be perilous, but I pride myself on safe driving. To meet Sneasler, Pokesports, you must pass through here. Wayward Cave. Oh, Wayward Cave is still called the same thing. Here you'll find a Pokemon like... Oh, wait, this... Here I'll find Gibble, right? That That's how that works, too? It's quite dim inside. You'll need to watch your step. Oh, is it gonna be... Oh. It's gonna be dark, isn't it? Quite dim inside. I don't have anything that emits light. Oh, okay, it's not actually dim. I can still see. Come on, Ingo. Well, this is odd. The torches that light the way through the cave are gone. Could this be Melly attempting to obstruct us? Either way, there's no need or concern. I know my route, and I'll conduct us safely. No darkness nor foul weather will delay us. Onward we roll. <laughs> Does anyone actually know who this guy is in, like, um, Gen 4? Because obviously he came from the future like I did. I recall faintly that I had a partner once, a precious one. What if this is this looker? Got lost in the space-time continuum. Its name escapes me, but I remember that it wielded flames. If only there it were if only it were here, I'm sure it would light the way luring on us. I mean you shouldn't this guy is so lost. Please forgive the unscheduled stuff. Oh okay. But given the poor visibility, I propose a track change in the interest of safety. Please follow me. Okay. Okay. I'm starting to recall a man who looked like me. We do battle and discuss Pokemon. Hmm. The words, I like winning more than anything else, flashed through my mind just now. This guy's just having a whole epiphany while giving me away there. We'll soon be arriving at Wayward Cave's exit. Even if the memories themselves have faded, it appears much still lives on in my heart. That's good for you, man. That's real good for you. This is fine progress. Well, why did you stop to tell me that? Oh yeah, look at all those torches. <laughs> Let me put those torches back where they belong. This darkness could be perilous for the next person to pass through here. Okay, that was nice of you. Ready for departure. If you follow the track marked by the torches, you'll reach the terminus of this The terminus. Is there like no Pokemon? There was not a single Pokemon this whole time in Weaver Cave. Oh, Golbats. Well, I guess that checks out. All right. Let's just, for the sake of time, not spend time fighting Golbats. And see what Melly is doing on the other side of this cave. Well, hopefully this is where the real new Pokemon are. <laughs> we haven't seen a single one that's new yet. Professor Lavinan told me how you feel. How you fell. How you fell to this land from the sky. For my part, I simply found myself one day here in Husia region. Whose name I'd never heard. All I can remember... Oh, maybe he's... Wait, maybe this guy is not a time traveler. Maybe he's just a, a sales... Sailman. Or a sailor. That just ended up ashore from like... 
Alola or something with a regular electrode. I don't know. I was still standing there in bafflement when the Pearl Clan came to my aid. I showed a natural affinity for taming Pokemon, which is why I eventually became a warden. Which is why I event- Oh, I said that already. But still, I wonder what my true purpose is here. I mean, you're wearing a captain's uniform, my guy. It looks like you haven't taken it off since the day you swam ashore. Ah, uh, but now I've sidetracked us with this talk. Let's hurry onwards. Man, old man can speak. Okay, where's onwards? Which way is onwards? That's the cave. Um... It just says make my way up the mountain. What does that mean? Oh, this way. Thank you. Jeez, it really just is gold bats here. <laughs> I was trying. I, I thought I was exaggerating earlier when I said no new Pokemon have showed up so far, but man, all we got is gold bats. So much for rock and ground type Pokemon. <laughs> you could expect to see a lot of rock and ground type Pokemon. Oh, here's a. Here should be a somewhat easy. Uh... Yeah, let's just fight this. I've started fighting alphas now because I started realizing that they give EVs. Or they give the things needed to, to actually get EVs, so it's super important. I'm probably going to die instantly here. Okay, great. Thank you, Basculin. <laughs> anyway, Arcanine, you have rock moves. <laughs> I was just talking about how, how cool I am for actually fighting alpha Pokemon now and... And here, the first thing that happens, easily one shot. It's fine, but look at that. I one shot it back with Arcanine. So yeah, that's how you get these uh, grit dusts and EXP candies. And then what you can end up doing is using the grit dusts on say, Basculin, who clearly needs to improve his speed. <laughs> and then there you go, you raise the speed. And you can use the EXP candies to of course raise the EXP. Um, I think I'll do Sligoo, because Sligoo still needs to evolve for Gudra. So I'm probably going to be pushing Sligoo a lot if I can. There's a cave inside of a cave? INSIDE OF A CAVE?! Incredible. Oh jeez. This looks like a nice... ...rocky thing? Why is it purple? What's the big idea of putting back all the torches I spent ages tidying away? Do you get some sort of amusement stomping around and ruining people's noble deeds? Oh, rendering a cave impassable to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. This guy's such a jerk. Hmm. Well, this just goes to show what even we wardens don't always see eye to eye. I extinguish those fights, those lights for the sake of Pokemon in that cave who prefer the dark. <laughs> but now, you louts have put my efforts to waste. If you think I'll just stand, if, let you solder ahead. Saunter ahead? These words, I've never heard them in, in the English language. And meet Lord Electrode, you're surely mistaken. The only way you're going to- you're getting past me is if you defeat my partner Pokemon. Which is... I'll just beat him. I ain't got no problem whooping, you know? Oh. That's fine. Me thinks. I believe that's okay. Oh, look at Arcanine, man. Ready for battle. Okay. What do we do? Um. Yeah. Rock slide. Get him. Sick him, boy. Bada bing. How does it feel, Skuntank? Oh, it doesn't feel too good. I should probably stand out of the way is what I should do. Night Slash is going to hurt. Not going to be enough. Oh, but he gets the double because of Adjastyle. Whack. I can do that, too. No, but I don't have to. Strong style, it's done. It makes a lot of sense that a person like you will have Skuntank as their mascot Pokemon. <laughs> it makes so much sense that this toxic piece of garbage <laughs> has Skuntank. Listen here, neither I nor Skuntank admit defeat just yet. Our challenge to you still stands. However, I will withdraw to afford Skuntank time to recover. There's no shame in a tactical retreat. It's more of an advance, if you think about it. Keep your guard up. We'll be back. Okay, good riddance. Get on my way. I'm gonna have to battle them again. What a lively character. <laughs> it seems like the people in Team Diamond are always more... I don't, I don't know the right way to say this. Chaotic good? 
It's like they have a good purpose, but they're they're complete chaos. Like uh, the last one with red hair lied in order to get things done. This one is arrogant, but they they have good intentions. And the Pearl Clan just seems like a bunch of short old people and sometimes children. So so I don't know, I don't know what's going on there. There's just no middle age. All right, let's go into this cave. Oh, it's gonna be foggy. Is that the captain? Oh, the echoes. This sounds so weird on my headphones. This is the ancient quarry. The stones used to build the temple atop this mountain were all cut from this place. Whether by humans and Pokemon working as one or by the labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. The stones that were left behind should serve to cover us from the gazes of wild Pokemon. Ah, uh, there you are, Ingo. Oh, it's Volo. Again, the guy that shows up in random places at random times. Volo, was it? What is the matter, sir? I want to ask you about that memory loss of yours. Have you considered that it could have some, it could have somehow been caused by the space-time rift? I have no cause to think the rift is to blame, but then again, I hardly remember a thing, so it's difficult to say with certainty. I can't remember my own house nor my family if I had any. So you might do better to pose your questions to Pokesports, I think, if it's to do with that rift. Indeed. Well, I do hope your memories return, Warden Ingo. How about you then, Pokesports? Do you remember what you saw before you fell out, out of that rift? Was there anything inside? You're a merchant. Why do you care? Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that whatever is on the other side of that rift is causing the strange lightning that pr plagues us. That makes sense. I mean, the lightning is coming from there. Indeed, I did some digging and found records indicating that the same time-space rift also appears in history in the distant past. That's why we already had a name for it as it appeared, in fact. Now, what kind of world do you suppose stretches out on the other side of the rift? My guess is that it is Almighty Sinnoh's realm. But then that begs the question, why has the space-time rift reopened when it closed once so long ago? And why would Pokesports have fallen through to us? There's just so much we don't know. Because I'm the best. I fervently hope you unravel this mystery, Volo. I'm sure it would ease people's fears over the frenzies of our nobles. And while you investigate, sir, I'll continue to prioritize the safety of the people living in this world. Oh, I'm a mere admirer of ruins and little more. If something needs investigating, then I would entrust that, that task to Pokesports. Until next time. Oh, so now you suddenly don't care. There's something sketchy about that Volo character, let me tell you. I'm getting some vibes. Not good ones. Like, why are they always there? Oh, this is a new Pokemon. A very angry new Pokemon. I just got here. I'm sorry. You want to fight? Fine. I don't honestly think I need to fight. Where's my basket? Oh, there it is. Let me just item, item this guy up. Bronzor, why are you so aggressive? Oh, hopefully we do get some more steel types in here. We don't really need it because we have Gudra, but still, it'd be cool to see. There's been a lack of steel types lately. Did I just get grit gravel from that? I want another one. Why was that so easy? These just drop grit gravels? Okay, I'm gonna actually work on uh, wave crash this time. Of oh, the apparent, the Unconfirmed apparent evolution for Basculin, so it might change by the time you watch this video. If it is, it's probably on Cerebi. Uh, but the the word on the street is, it depends on the recoil damage you take from the signature move. I don't know how true that is. I'm going to assume it's very. Hello? I want to fight. Um, I'm going to go for one of them, just because you have to take recoil damage. I don't think that'll be enough to KO. Yeah, that's good enough. Now, what do you got for me? Iron Defense. That's perfectly fine. Because now we can throw the ball. Except I do think we might need to Ultra Ball this because Bron Bronzog is going to have a little bit higher catch rate. I I'm probably dumb for wasting the Ultra Ball, but I just got the, raft the crafting rest. No, I didn't. Oh, I thought I got the crafting recipe for it. No, I got the crafting recipe for... Uh... What's that other thing? Yeah, I got more Grit Dust. 
Oh my goodness, this is a great place to get Eevees. Like, look at this. I'm getting so much dust, I could just do this. Oh, I gotta do it on this. See? I don't really need to raise my special attack, but you, you get what I mean? I think Arcanine's compatible, right? Um, uh, yeah, look. Every single one that we went up against dropped the grit. That's amazing. I can literally sit here and level up my, uh, my EVs on every single one of my Pokemon right now. If I wanted to. But I won't. Because that will take forever. Oh, I guess I, the struggle I went to get Teddy Ursa in the last episode doesn't actually matter. If they're going to give me 20 different Ursa rings right here. Got some Shinx. Where am I going? Okay. Still haven't seen anything out of the ordinary. This is a side quest. I got to be going that direction. But what does this person want? Oh, you belong to the same thing that Volo's in. Ah, you're part of the galaxy team. I've been waiting. I came here since I heard you were planning to set up a camp. Oh yes, I would love to set up camp. But it seems that much progress has been that not much progress has been made since that Bronzerg is getting away. Bronzong. Bronzor. It's not belligerent, but it seems like it wants something. So we can't just ignore it either. Okay. What does it want? I'm gonna find out what it wants. How about I just put it in a Pokeball and take it against its will? It probably wants this plump bean. Hello. Zor? Oh, come on. There's something over that way that it wants, apparently. Hello, friend of Bronzor. Aw. Aw. Just wanted a friend. Oh, it's wounded. Never mind. It saw somebody dying. It wanted us to help. <laughs> it's like, my friend is dying. Please save me. Oh, that's funny. Okay. So we can set up a base camp here. That's actually really good. Free base camp. Nice. Oh, yikes. Relax. I don't understand why Golducks are so angry all the time. I get it. You used to have a lot of headaches as a child. That's not my fault. Okay. We're back with the captain again. Oh! I would never expect to be able to climb. You would never expect to be able to climb such sheer cliffs as these. Oh, Sneasler is going to help us climb the cliffs. But with Sneasler as an ally, it becomes the work of a moment. She is so at home on a cliff face, one might think she knew, she knew some secret, some hidden move. What am I saying? Hidden moves. There are no such things in Hisui, surely? <laughs> there, no, there are no HMs here, right? You, okay, now this is confirmed. You're from another planet. You're from the other side of the rift. Yet I feel as though I was on a cusp of remembering something just now. Oh, that's so sad. Just who was I before I came to Hisui? I hope we actually find out. If you fell from the sky, you come from another world altogether, most likely. Perhaps a Pokemon battle with you would jog this memory loose. Would you honor me with a battle, Pokesports? I'll do it. I have no idea what Pokemon he's going to carry, though. Type Null. All aboard, then, Machoke. Oh, it's Machoke. Okay. This guy's from Gen 1. Got a Gen 1-er over here. Can my Basculin take this? Oh, he's got three. Hold it. You got three Mons. Basculin, you're going to have to fight for your life. I do have Zen Headbutt. This would be smarter. I should do the smarter play right now. Not the try to level up to evolve play. Yeah. I'm fighting three Mons. I got to be a little bit intelligent about this. Good job, Basculin. Big damage. Goes into Tangela. Okay, Tangela. I, th I think I have Ice Fang, though. Oh, but it's going to knock me out. Rest in peace, Basculin. I can go heal right there. I just made a place to heal. Um, I'll go in Arcanine. I don't have a lot of HP, though. But I think Ar Arcanine should be able to outspeed. Fire Fang this thing. Get rid of it. Oh, maybe not, because Tangela has defenses, right? Not enough defenses, baby. Nice. What do you got? Gliss score. Oh, jeez, man. Relax with the mud bombs. Whew. That was almost awful. Um, I guess I fire fang. Gliss score is going to be too tanky to knock up by myself, though. Yeah, mud bomb by Arcanine. Dang it. <laughs> 
Kevin, the team with a thousand weaknesses to ground. It's fine. <laughs> We're okay. I have an Ursa ring. Um, an Ursa ring that knows strong style play rough. Let's go. Oh, come on. Obscurity. Quick attack. Plus poison jab. Ouch, man. At least you're no longer obscured. Whatever that means. We're gonna go for the strong style play rough again. Let's see it. Bada bing. Not enough. Ursa ring. Yeesh. Ursa ring. He's low HP. No. Dang it. Okay, bye Ursa ring. Sligu, it's all you. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, Sligu did learn a new move that I haven't checked out yet, right? Yo, Dragon Pulse is so dope. Oh, I love how Sligu just gets inside of its shell when it's waiting. It's like... <laughs> it's great. I love it. Alrighty, alrighty. Um, I got another move mastered. Nice. I got Sligu Evo. Not Evo. Uh, level up. Your talent has brought you to the destination called Victory. What the heck? This guy is so frozen. Look at him. Now, allow me to call Sneasler. So he didn't jog any memory that whole time. That whole time, he remembered nothing. All right, let's see the Sneasler. Do I have to battle it? Or do I have to catch it? I love how I'm frostbitten. That's so cool. Attention to detail, Game Freak, finally. Oh, that Pokemon looks so dope, man. It just looks like a big, tall Sneasel, to be honest. Doesn't actually look phenomenal out of the, out of this world, but it's really interesting. It's so tall. Would you be so kind as to play your flute for her to hear? The question is, do I want one? Would I replace my Overquill for it? I'll think about it. They're both poison types. But I do already have a fighting type on the team, but... Sometimes you need both. She's laughing at me. That's nice. We got a toxic plate right away. And now, final stop. Please proceed up the cliffs with Sneezer's aid. I'm excited to see how this climbing thing works. Is If it's like a mechanic or if it's like really fast. I hope it's fast. I don't. I hope I don't have to think too much when I'm climbing. Climbing with Sneasler. I figure, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Awesome! We got a Sneasler friend. Look at me! I'm inside the basket! Look at my eyes! Oh, this is hilarious. Let's go, Sneasler. Ascend. I'm Spider Sneasler. Do we get cool berries up here? Dire Shrooms. That sounds new. I get more of these. I get some iron. Maybe now we can start seeing the rock and ground types that we were, that they said we were going to see. Now we're getting some new mons like Gliss, Gliger. That doesn't want to stay in a Pokeball. You want to battle so bad, Gliger. The problem here is I got a lot of Pokeballs, but Pokeballs are becoming irrelevant. I just have to use Great Balls, but I don't want to because I have like 61 Pokeballs. Hey, look at this. Easy catch. Done. <laughs> you just need to go the next level up. All right, Gligar, nice. Caught one. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. yes. Ooh, hoo, hoo. yes. Okay, what do we do? Can you look in a different direction, Gibble? Nice. We got a Gibble. That's a. Uh... That's a scary looking good bite, not gonna lie. I think this would be better if we ran. Ooh, what is this? Oh, there's a Dialga statue here. Also, this we have to be close to the right place. Surely. You just have Dialga statues say in the middle of nowhere? Oh, whoa, you just have Sudowoodos in the middle of nowhere. Okay, now we're getting some new mons here, folks. Some more rock types. Sudowoodo, the one and the only. 
That's bouncing. Why is it bouncing? What was in it? Oh, fuck! Ooh, yes! Oh, why are you inside of it? Thunder? Nice try. Loser. I'm going to water pulse it. Because I don't want to knock it out. I just want to weaken it a little bit. Voltor's just chilling in the box, man. How are you hitting every thunder? How are you critting? What is this Voltorb on? Okay, let's use a scrape ball. You better stop rolling away. Cute little thing. So we're definitely getting close to the right place if we're catching Voltorbs. <laughs> nice. I was I was just like looking at the Sudowoodo. I was gonna try to catch the Sudowoodo again, and then a Voltorb comes out of a box. Hey, look, no spaz. Doesn't really avoid Pokeballs too well. Oh, but it climbs out of the... Wow. What is this? A chest? Oh, a salt cake. And stealth spray. Oh, I don't have space for stealth spray. Because stealth spray sounds good. I could, I could probably use that. When biting the... Uh, when fighting the electrode. Dude, there's just so much buried treasure out here. I got a nugget, smoke bomb, salt kick. What's on this side of the wall? Another glider. Oh, relax. I can't jump over this. Oh, it's Dialga and Palkia fighting each other. There's so much hidden treasure. What do we got here? Belt spray, scatterbang, all things that I have already. Thankfully, so I don't have to readjust my inventory again. Inventory space, irritating. But I understand why. It makes the game harder because it makes you try to be more resourceful and it forces you to craft. I get it. But dang, is it annoying. Oh, angry Luxray. Why, hello. How you guys doing? Don't mind me. Just a sneezler. Sneezling around. Up to... Not not up to nothing, no good. What? Ooh, okay. Mr. Viss, new mon. Did I run away already? Oh, what the heck? Haunter? You better relax. Jeez, I'm just walking. Mr. Viss, I just want to be your friend. Jeez. We got the mischievous, but at what cost? Oops. Yo, it just dodged me. There you go. This Haunter, man. We gotta leave all those mons behind. The uh, Haunter. Haunter doesn't like me very much. Alright, Melly. Here we go again. Here we go again, Melly. Welcome to Moonview Arena, the seat of Lord Electrode. Like how now they're not upset that I'm here? I know I've not exactly been supported, uh, supportive of you reaching this place, but a part of me did hope you'd make it. Call me contradictory all you'd like. Galaxy Grunt, but such is life. Embracing the complexity of both ourselves and the world can only help us grow. As a member of the Diamond Clan, my highest calling is to please almighty Sinnoh. And right now, that means I must protect my lord by stopping you where you stand. If you wish to defeat me and gain entry to Electrode's seat, you and your little Pokemon are welcome to give your best shot. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. I swear, I heard a fart in somewhere in Skuntang's cry. Earthstring actually has ground type moves, so this is a very convenient switch in. Oh, and they're using their Golbat. And they're using their Skaroopy. Dang, man. Relax. What am I supposed to do? Fight all three? I guess so. Oh, good thing I did that much damage. Ursaring. Ursaring's not going to make it out of this battle. But, hey, at the very least, you did good. That's really good damage to have. Okay, now going to Overquill, I think. Overquill can kind of stand in front of Skuntank and not care too much. Um, I'm going to Pulse. If 
because I think it's so low it doesn't matter. Alright, got rid of the big the big guy. At least the other two are lower level. Venoshock won't do anything. It has a Q on its tail. Um I guess Dark Pulse. Nice easy Oko. Overkill, OP. Get this guy. Get this guy now. He's only poison bug, so I can actually go for... I mean, I'll just go for water. I think 23 levels above is going to be easy KO. Nice. Come on. Give me a real challenge. I level grinded before this episode. I was tired of getting one shot by everything. <laughs> Let's make one thing clear. I did not lose. You may have won, but there's a difference. <laughs> I just lacked time. Yes, I'm afraid there simply wasn't enough time for me to raise my Pokemon nice and strong. Ah, uh, could this be why Adamant is always going on and on about time being a precious thing? My word, the Diamond Clan and Almighty Sinnoh truly are never-ending founts of wisdom. Yes, yes, I know what comes next. You want to know what pleases Lord Electro so you can make some bombs for it. Well, I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. Because I have completely forgotten what Electrode likes. <laughs> What's the matter? Upset? Too bad anger doesn't make bombs. Dang, this guy's a jerk. Melly's really giving you the, ra the run around, isn't he, Pokesports? Yes, Adamant. Please evict him. I guess it's my fault for not telling you in advance what Electrode likes. So here's the bombs. Adamant. Just... Oh, what if Melly's like... James, distant ancestor. Jesse. James. I could hear you just now. You know. Are you really going to tell this little noodle what he needs to find just like that? Yeah, why not? Use your eyes, Melly's. Melly, haven't you even looked at your frenzied lord? Don't you feel even a twinge at how it suffers fighting to control the energy that's bursting out of it? I see nothing but a Pokemon overcome with joy at being Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. I don't think so. Anyway, it's not like the trials are, and suffering are always cause for gloom and doom. These things exist to help us grow. That's one way to put it. I'm sorry, Melly. I can't write off these frenzies as some trials from Almighty Sinnoh. That's why I'm doing the best I can to help out Pokesports here. This is bigger than what team or clan we belong to. Oh, and by the way, I wasn't just going to tell him that he needs crunchy salt. I was going to go right ahead and give it to him. Yeah. It's weird that grass likes salt, but okay. Now it's time to make some bombs. So lend a hand, both of you. Nice. There's a distortion time space rift thing behind me. Those yield really good items sometimes. Awesome, we got our bombs, but don't oh, underestimate my lord's strength. I very much doubt he likes... Doubt the likes of you can quell it. Man, just watch me. Do I go to that time rift, though? No. no, no. We gotta do the story. Let's go. Oh, should I... Wait, I think I need to heal. Like, real talk? I think they... Yeah, they don't heal me. Gee, thanks, guys. Thankfully, I do have some revives. I do have some potions to use. Get over Quill up here. It's going to be a Grass Electric. So, Arcanine should kind of be what I go with. There you go. Definitely not Basculin. <laughs> so, even knowing you're doomed to fail, you still wish to pitch yourself against Electrode? Yep. Let's go. Let's get it. Hey, you've a great deal more pluck than you have sense. I'll give you that. Word of advice, don't stop moving while you're battling Electrode or you'll be dead in no time. Yikes. So that means Electrode's probably gonna be fast. I'm not too big of a fan of Electrode's design. It's just exactly what I expected it to be. So, I mean, a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. Okay. 
<laughs> Big electrode. Big spooky electrode. It's upside down. <laughs> Grass electric. All right, let's go. Okay, that's why I can never stop moving. When does it stop? Jeez, what is going on? How do I beat this? Do I send it back into him? I'm starting to think doing this is faster. I don't even know when to start hitting with bombs, man. I mean, I have to. Like, that's the only way I'm gonna... I just have to evade. I can't hit him with bombs in the middle. I just have to go into battle, hope I win. Jeez, this was stressful. Ah! Ah! All right, fight. Burn this thing alive. I don't know. Do something, Arcanine. <laughs> oh, that was great. Good job, Arcanine. Oh, please. Okay, okay. It looks like I can only do... Big X, big X, big X. Ah! Yeah, I just have to keep stalling through its animations. I mean, I could try to squeeze one or two in here, but... Oh, no, I just gotta keep avoiding. Oh! This is absolute chaos. I love this, man. This is so chaotic. Oh, I didn't mean for that to happen. Get me out. Whew, I got out. Explode. Okay, so I just gotta wait till it explodes. Once it explodes, the game's mine. Okay. Thunder. Eight one up. Nice. Fight. Fire Fang worked last time. Have it work again. Arcanine's so good, man. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's a blue one. That one goes twice as fast! Oh! 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 <laughs> I can't stop running. I literally have no choice. I mean, hey, that's what they said outside, but I guess... I didn't know what they meant by that. Oh, I got hit by that. Oh, God. Oh, goodness. Okay. It's gonna explode soon. Okay, got out. Arcanine, please save me. <laughs> Will this be enough to finish? I hope. I hope, I hope. It's gonna hurt again. Fight. Fire Fang, baby. Strong Fire Fang. Be enough. I've beaten this Pokemon three times already. Good riddance, baby. That's so good. All right. Uh, I don't think I can get it all the way down. I will try, but... Ok, 
It's okay. I have HP. I have HP. I'm gonna have to live through another one of these barrages. Oh, I might be able to finish like this. Ooh, never mind. Ooh, I did. Ooh, okay. I was like, you know what? Forget it. <laughs> that was... I, I know... I can't say that it was harder than Arcanine because I lost Arcanine twice. But, like... Arcanine was hard because I didn't have the Pokemon necessary to stop it. This is hard because the actual interaction it has with you is really difficult. Look at those levels, baby. Got a new move mastered. That's what we like to see. Hello, Electrode. You're a good Electrode. Thank you. Got the Zap Plate. Nice and easy. Not really, that was, that was, that was a challenge and a half. But it was so much fun. Oh, for shame, what utter calamity. I agreed to make those accursed bobs, yes. But now that Almighty Sinnoh's precious blessings have vanished forever, it's so unbearably sad. <laughs> this person's a little weird. Is that how you see it? Electro looks relieved to me. Glad it's suffering ended, probably. Oh, come on, Adamin. Seriously? That's just your wishful thinking, nothing more. All your preaching does... All your preaching doesn't rifle me one bit. But if Almighty Sinnoh grows angry with me because of this, I'll not... I'll, I don't know what I'll do. I'll, I arrive. Right on schedule. <laughs> now what... Did you bother coming back for? Only to say that I recall something, some things after Pokesports did me the honor of traveling with me. You do? Things to do with a world where I believe I lived before my memories were lost. Most people there caught Pokemon, live with them, formed supportive partnerships with them. And then there were... Pokemon trainers, the ones we called Pokemon trainers, were truly devoted to their craft. They always looked towards the next challenge and had Pokemon battles every chance they got, all to help themselves and their Pokemon grow. Through battle, trainers forged bonds of understanding with their Pokemon and with their opponents and their Pokemon too. With everything, I suppose. If people and Pokemon work together, we can forge new paths forward. We'll be lost to history if we go on believing only Pokemon can be strong, or if we go on fearing them instead of understanding them. Oh, this old man knows what's up. I like this guy. Interesting. Was your world like Ingo described to Pokesports? I'm gonna say yes. I never thought such a world could exist. Oh, once again, the brilliant Warden Melly has realized something rather clever. It's not just my Pokemon that need to be strong, it's me as well. The greater my valor and might, the more my Pokemon will reach their potential. I wonder if Almighty Sinnoh will be pleased once I've achieved exactly that. Maybe. <laughs> hey, Adamin, share with me again the wisdom of Almighty Sinnoh passed down amongst our clan. All right, all right. Open your ears, shut that big mouth, and listen well, my friend. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger, offer only friendship to those around you. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger, bring not almighty Sinnoh to sorrow. For that is when time's flow will cease. And there you have it. That's nice. Bravo, excellent! Please, all of you, do your best and run towards the destination at even higher state. Of course, your higher state is clear, Pokesports. It sure lies with the next lord. Now, this time, I really will make the complete return trip to Jubilife's village. Perhaps with someone like Pokesports to show that Pokemon need not be feared, the people of Hisui will find new tracks forward. Now, begging your pardon, I owe Commander Kam Kamado my report. Until next time, Pokesports. Doodaloo, old guy! we find a way to honor our past while also forging a better future? 
that's deep. That's real deep. Wow. <laughs> Maybe that's what's, what Almighty Sinnoh really wants from us. After all, it rules over all time. And it created everything there is. Be ready to shield your eyes, Galaxy Grunt. I'm going to polish up both myself and Electrode until our strength and brilliance are blinding. Prepare to polish your eyes. Okay, whatever you say. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. That was probably the hardest trial noble battle that I've had to encounter so far. You know, actual physical battle. The Electrode and constantly needing to move the entire time and not being able to throw any bombs was really difficult. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, let me know in the comments. I'm Kevin with Pokesports. See you guys again here tomorrow for some more Pokemon Legends Arceus. Peace out. Bye-bye.